what would you say is your core philosophy or better still, what would you say is your investment style if you could only say it in a tweet? Uh, I have a metal detector. I'm looking for things. I'm looking to to for things that are unseen by by the market. And mm. I guess the good news is, even in as as highly of an observed market as the United States market is, and I always describe our market as being highly efficient, but it's not the same thing as being fully efficient. So there are huge parts of the market. And think about what we were just talking about: the fact that Wall Street analysts, it's not really worthwhile for them to track at all or put at, put ratings at all out on companies that are five billion dollars and smaller mm. from a, you know in a market cap perspective so they are out there and I, I would say if anything at that end of the market in the united states things have become even less efficient over time mm. which which is great for for people like me who who try and fish in those waters Wait, mm. you asked me to say that very briefly, and I went on. <laughs> Don't worry, you can do long tweets now, you know. I, I, you can't even do a tweet in long legs. That's right. I, that's right. I got to go and get the blue star and write as long a tweet as I just, want. Uh, just, <laughs> but you touch. I was just, just going to say, just on the small cap investing uh, with so much experience in it, do you notice like an inflection point where the institutional money comes in? Is there is there that tipping point that you achieve? And it's like, that's that's the money shot, basically. Yeah, it happens. I mean, it, it, we just talked about Tesla earlier, and, and Tesla is now as close to a trillion dollar company. So there are no, by no definition, is it a small cap. Uh, but there were companies like Chipotle, for example, that just simply won for years and years and years and years. And you really do see, uh, you know, the, the, um, the investment banks start to get interested in companies after they have won for a while, even, even mm -hmm. if they are smaller. One of the challenges in the U.S. right now, so so the S&P 500 has had a pretty good year, but the S&P 493, which is the <laughs> S&P 500 minus the big seven tech stocks, has not had a good year. So no. if anything in this country, you have been punished for moving away from any big cap tech, tech companies here. So it's almost the opposite of an inflection point right now. Like it, the, the US market has never been more concentrated in a single industry or in a single small set of companies. So I would love to see those inflection points because at this point you almost see a, you know, a, a greater level of conservatism uh, mm -hmm. than you had even before the pandemic started. You touch on a couple of interesting points there. First, you mentioned a number of five billion dollars, and I was about to ask you, like, what in your mind now constitutes a small cap? Because when I started, it was I think a business capitalized between a hundred million and maybe two hundred fifty million. Then it grew yeah. up a bit. You now, now we're talking about. Are you? Are we thinking about companies below five billion? I think that's a pretty good acid test. The way I used to think about it is any company that was in the Russell two thousand. And so yeah. the U.S. has, you know, there are every country has a number of indices and the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones Industrial Average are, the, are pretty much the large cap uh, indices. The Russell 2000 is the lower two thirds of the Russell 3000. So the Russell mm -hmm. 1000 is kind of their 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 version of the S&P 500, only twice the, as many companies. Um, so the Russell 2000, very top of that, starts at about at about five and a half billion dollars uh, mm -hmm. now, and so that's pretty much where I would where, where I would consider small cap there and below. Uh, to me, the market cap almost isn't even the most interesting part because what you have in this country now is is huge swaths of the market that are just ignored. So mm -hmm. there are companies that are 20 and $30 billion in size now that are pretty much ignored by, uh, b by the investment banks. And so they behave like what you would think a small cap is because of, you know, be, because they have, they do no fundraising activity. They, they aren't in any danger of doing secondaries or raising debt. So to me, the number itself almost is less important than the uh, the profile of the company on Wall Street. 